we have got a delicious little magical potion that I like to call a golden milk latte. It's got turmeric, ginger, cinnamon, a little bit of maple syrup, milk of your choice, and I threw in some ashwagandha powder as well, which is a really amazing adaptogenic herb. This drink is amazing because it's delicious. First of all, and it's got so many healing properties that are super good for joint health, reducing inflammation, reducing sore muscles, good for reducing stress, good for the digestive system. And I wanted to make this for this class because if you're here, you're probably here for the same reason that I am. Your hamstrings are super sore. Maybe you just did a really hard workout yesterday, a hard dance class or something, and now your legs are like, ugh. <laughs> And your first instinct is probably, oh yeah, I need to like just stretch out. You just want to hit that forward fold. We always think, oh, if my muscles are tight, it's because they need to be stretched. When actually, if your muscles are really tight and sore, especially from doing some hard work, what they need more than just going into a hard stretch is to get warm. They need blood flowing to them to help that recovery process. They need that blood flow. We need to loosen up the fascia before we get into stretching the muscles. So actually, the thing that is gonna help you feel less sore and be able to hit you're training really hard tomorrow is you want to, even though it's probably the last thing you want to do right now, we want to do some activation, some work, some lunges, some squats, stuff like that to get those muscles warm, get the blood flowing to them, and then we can go into some yummy stretches. I will be doing a lot of cues during this class and a lot of alignment awareness things so that we're really getting the stretch into the muscle because it's really easy especially if you're one of my hypermobile yogis or dancers to get the stretch into the knee and you, it feels like oh i'm getting such a good stretch but really we're stretching the joint and when we want to be stretching the muscles because here's the thing joints are not muscles they are not elastic they won't stretch they don't stretch and then go back to their original position once you stretch a joint that's kind of it it doesn't bounce back so we could be weakening our joints over lots of years of just stretching into the joint stretching into the knees locking the knees and we want to be getting the stretch into the actual muscle so we'll be making sure to pay extra close attention to that so that we can get what we really want out of this class. Healthy hamstrings, stretch out the glutes a little bit. So if that sounds good, grab some water, make yourself a little, a little tasty magic potion and meet me on the back. All right, babies, let's get to it. Come onto your mat. As always, remember this practice is for you and for taking care of your body. So at any point, if you need to modify anything, Please do, this is for you. Listen to your body, it is wise. <laughs> Listen to what it has to say, for what feels good, what doesn't feel good. And come to your mat. Take your feet nice and wide, about as wide as the mat. Spreading your toes on the floor. Taking this very powerful, grounded, present stance. Dropping the shoulders away from the ears. Tailbone drawing down, lower core drawing up, pelvis dropping heavy to the floor and feeling that grounding energy going down through your legs. Top of the head growing up tall, inhaling deeply, feeling that energy drawing up through the floor, up through your legs, hold it at the top. Exhale, let it go with a sigh. One more time, inhaling really nice and deep. Hold it at the top, maybe sip in a little bit more air. Exhale, side out. Inhale, reaching the arms up. Exhale, sinking the hips back, bend the knees, rippling down. And rippling back up, inhale, arms up. Squatting down, rippling back up. Inhale up. Exhale. Nice and full. Just moving in a really fluid motion here. Keeping your knees outwards, not letting them drop in. Squeeze. 
squeeze in your glutes. As you come back up, moving with the breath, finding that fluidity in the spine. If your hamstrings are really sore, they might not like this, but trust me, you wanna get them warm. Beautiful. And now taking a forward fold, massaging the back of the legs, just rubbing your hands, the back of the legs, and shift your weight into the ball of the feet. So bringing our weight forward can make sure that we don't sink back into our heels and lock into our knees. So just really creating that more, creating that friction in the back of the legs. And inhale, coming back up. All right, my favorite part of the class, we're gonna do a little static booty shaking. So take your legs nice and wide. You wanna feel like you're shifting your weight really fast back and forth between your feet, but you're keeping them grounded. So your feet aren't coming off. And you're just letting that shake come up into your booty. <laughs> I know this is not your typical yoga move here, but it's so good because it helps release all the fascia in the back of the legs and the glutes. So just really find that little bit of a shimmy in your hips, shifting your weight side to side, and just let it shake, just embrace. I can't even talk. <laughs> just embrace the jiggle. And once you've got that going, begin to hinge at the hips and coming forward here. So you're kind of in a tabletop position, shifting side to side, a little bend in the knees, really just trying to get as much like Wiggle and shake in the legs. I know it can be really awkward. <laughs> and coming down, melt down. And coming back up. Hopping your legs together. You know, step back, taking a crescent lunge, but stepping nice and far enough that you can drop that back knee, kiss it to the floor, and squeezing the glutes of that leg that's forward to come back up. Arms swooping forward, touch, and keeping the ribs in. Inhale, circling the arms. Nice, vibrant breath. Just stepping back, alternating, keeping those ribs in. Inhale, reach, squeeze to step up. Keeping that knee tracing forward. And two and one. Stepping up, taking your feet as wide as the mat, toes turned out, inhale. Squeezing the glutes, press the hips forward, reach back. Exhale, hand behind the head, drop the chin to the chest, ripple down. And bending at the knees, coming into a malasana. Inhale, ripple back up the same way you came. Little arch back, squeeze the glutes, press the hips forward. Tailbone draws down. Exhale, drop the chin to the chest, rolling down. Bending at the knees, dropping into a yogi squat here. And rippling back up. Last one, inhale, opening that front line of fascia. Exhale, drop, rounding forward. Sinking into a malasana, releasing the back of the head, pressing the hands together at heart. Just shift a little side to side here. Grounding down from the toes. Beautiful, place your hands on the floor. Turn your feet in as you straighten up, coming into a forward fold here. And now you're just gonna start to sway side to side, holding on to the opposite elbows, bending through one leg at a time, bending as you sway towards it. And let that movement start to get a little bigger, start to reach towards the foot that you're leaning to and really bending through the legs. Now bringing your torso up, so we're reaching Side to side, hair in my mouth. Bend through those legs, pressing up and down. So taking a little side to side lunge. Tap 
and tap. Squeeze the glutes to bring the hips up. Squeeze. I know your muscles are sore. <laughs> we promise they'll feel better tomorrow. Three, two, one. Taking that forward fold. Take a moment to relax. And bringing the weight forward into the toes, into the balls of the feet. See if you can really arch your low backs. So you're really trying to get your pelvis facing up in towards the air and then letting the rest of the spine, the head, the shoulders drop down towards the toes. Keeping a little micro bend in the knees if you're hypermobile. And then just to notice the difference, shift your weight back into your heels and kind of round more through the spine. See how that kind of takes the stretch out of the hamstrings and kind of, put, kind of puts it into the lower legs and the knees. So we want to avoid that. All throughout this class, we'll be putting a lot of focus on getting the weight through the toes of the feet. Bending the right knee, straighten the left, plant that right hand, twisting open. Again, shifting your weight into the toes, into the balls of the feet. Breathing into that side leg here, long torso, inhale. Exhale, drop, switching sides, bend the left knee straight in the right. Breathing into any places of tightness or tension in your body, shoulders away from the ears, and drop down. Keeping your hands on the floor, we're gonna move through a little like cat cow spine here, but a circling one. So exhale round, tucking the pelvis, drawing the chin to the chest, and circling into a more arch here. So let this be organic, let it be fluid. Bend your knees if you want to, or just try to kind of massage the back of the hamstrings, the back of the legs. And by moving in this fluid way, we can kind of get in touch with all the little muscles at all these different angles. Beautiful. Walking your hands forward, step your legs back, coming into a downward facing dog, shake your head out. Now, take a look here at your ankles and notice, are they falling in towards each other? Or are they falling out? Or are they right in line, parallel, totally centered? So we really wanna make sure it's really easy to roll in on our arches, really easy to let our ankles fall inwards. We wanna stay away from that. Pressing your fingertips into the floor. See if again here, you can really arch your pelvis up and try to, instead of what I see a lot of people doing is, in order to get their legs straight, they'll round through their upper back but I want you to first of all, straighten your back as much as you can, even if that means you have to bend in your down dog legs here a little bit. And by really arching the pelvis, really flattening the spine, we can get to stretch more into the hamstrings than we would if we just straighten the legs and round through the spine. One more breath here, drawing your ribs in. So we do want a nice flat back here, but we don't want the ribs dropping down. Beautiful, inhale that right leg up to the sky. Again, notice what your left ankle is doing. If it wants to fall inwards here, keep it centered. Exhale, step that foot forward. And cartwheel the arms up, coming into a nice strong warrior two here. Keeping that knee going out, grounding down through the back, outer edge of that foot. Inhale, arms up, coming up nice and strong. No locking into the knee. And drop. Inhale up, pulling up on that front kneecap. Drop it down. Inhale. Two more. Moving with the breath. Exhale, lowering down. Little pulses here, hands to heart. So five, four, three, two, one, plant that right hand, reach the left arm forward, using your right shoulder to really open up that right knee. 
Shoulders drawing away from the ears. Getting that nice inner thigh stretch here. And then switching hands. So flipping, coming onto the toes, ball of the foot, that back leg coming into a twisted lunge here. Finding length in the spine, sinking nice and low through the hips. And then sweeping the arms up, coming into a crescent lunge here, nice and low. So again, we're not going for this back arch here. We want to keep the ribs in, keep the pelvis neutral. Exhale, plant the hands, shift the hips back, flex that front foot, coming into a pyramid. Inhale, coming up, crescent lunge. Drop the shoulders down, exhale down. Hips back, flex that foot. Last time, inhale, exhale. Taking your pyramid here. So first of all, square off your hips as much as you can. Flex that front foot. And we're just gonna kind of shift back and forward, coming onto the toes of that back foot, just to give the fascia a little bit of movement here. Find that little micro bend in that front leg. And then taking a moment in stillness here, plant that front foot. Little micro bend in the knee, really grounding down through the toes. So again, don't let your weight just sink back into the heels. That's going to make the weight also lean into our kneecap. So trying to ground forward through those front toes and then melting down. Dropping that back knee now, coming into a low lunge. And take that right arm inside of the right foot from the heel toe, that leg out. You really get that nice hip stretch here. And then taking the left arm, just gonna circle to the diagonal and open up. Reaching across the body to the right diagonal. And time and down bringing yourself into a half splits here frame the leg flex that foot again no locking into the knee here find that micro bend inhale find length in the spine drawing that right hip back left hip forward and exhale melt forwards Sending your breath, sending your love and gratitude to any places of tightness. Just giving your body lots of love here. Hopefully you're feeling nice and warm. Beautiful. Inhale, coming forward. Bring your hands to the inside of the foot again. Turn out that back knee, sinking into a half child's pose stretch here. So one leg is in child's pose, the other is out straight. You can decide how far out at an angle you want it, but then slide your hands forward, coming down just like you would in child's pose. Ooh, if your legs are tight, honey, you're going to feel this. This is a good inner thigh stretch for sure. But again, just use the breath. To soften the body, use the breath to soften the fascia. Tell your body that it is safe to open, safe to release. Sending your breath all the way down the entire length of the spine. Really just being aware of how your entire body feels. Again, yoga, it's not about hitting the perfect pose, but how that pose is serving you, rather. How do you feel in the pose? Inhale, come forwards. Planting the hands, we'll step back into a downward facing dog. Walking out through the legs a couple times, notice what your ankles are doing. And again, take a moment to find that really good downward dog, plugging your hands in and trying to really find the length and flatten your spine here. So I don't want any rounding. Draw your ribs up. 
Maybe even try bending at the knees a little bit and just see how that changes the stretch. We wanna experiment here because there's a lot of different ways you can shift around and oppose to change the sensation. We're trying to get the stretch into the hamstrings, not into the knees. Beautiful, on your next inhale, reach that left leg up to the sky. Notice what your right ankle is doing. Make sure it's not dropping inwards. Exhale, stepping it forward, opening up to a nice strong warrior two here. Energy forward through that knee. Pelvis is right below me, so I'm never in warrior two sticking my butt out. You want it right below the ribs. Neutral pelvis. Inhale to straighten, drive up on the quads to lift the kneecap, not locking into the knee. Exhale down. Inhale. Moving with the breath. Oh yeah, getting some heat, getting, getting some work into that front leg. Really squeeze from the glutes and the hamstrings to lift you up and come down, little pulses. Squeeze that glute. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale and exhale, dropping into that side angle here. Opening up for that inner thigh. When you're ready, pivoting on the back toes, coming into that twisted lunge here. Trying to square off the hips before letting them sink. Nice full breath. Grounding down through those front toes, finding your balance to sweep those arms up, coming into the crescent lunge here. No arching ribs, keeping everything nice and aligned. Exhale, hands to the floor, hips back, flex the front foot. Inhale, dropping into that nice lunge, shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, moving fluidly, moving the flow, moving with the breath. Last time, Exhale, holding in your pyramid here, flexing that foot. Just taking that little shift forward and back. Not locking into the knee. And then letting that foot flatten to the floor. Grounding down through the toes. Trying to send your weight into the toes of your feet here. So your leg is giving, getting an active stretch here. We're not just totally relaxed. Breathing into the back of the leg. Relaxing through the back of the neck. One last breath here. Exhale, dropping the back knee into a lunge. Walking that foot out, plant that left hand, taking the right arm. So we're kind of in an open lunge here. Reaching across the body, that diagonal, opening up. Inhale. Beautiful. Taking a moment here. It all feels so good through that. I don't even know, all the muscles of the legs, the inner thigh, the hamstring, the hips. <laughs> Walk that leg back in so the hands can frame the foot, shift the hips back, come into the half splits here. Squaring off the hips, making sure that we're not locking into the knees. So you might notice, if you're someone who is hypermobile, you might notice that when you intentionally bend your knee and the stretch actually goes into the muscle, you might realize, oh, Man, I'm really getting a stretch here that I've never gotten before. Sometimes our hypermobility can trick us into thinking that we are more flexible than we actually are. So just no judgment for your body, just something to observe, to be curious about. Come to our yoga mat to get to know our bodies better. It's kind of like an experimental yoga lab here 
whatever feels good in this pose. Beautiful. Bring the hands to the inside of the foot. Choose where you want it, how far out you want it. Turn out that back knee, sinking down, taking that child's pose, stretch. Breathing nice and deep. Breathing into your inner thighs here. Whew. Relax the shoulders, relax the jaw, release any unnecessary tension. Bring your legs forward, actually swirl around. Bend your knees, just rolling down onto your back. Getting your feet about hips width apart. See if you can brush the back of your ankles with your hands. And then snuggle your shoulder blades under your ribs. Tucking the pelvis, squeezing through the glutes. Inhale, ripple up as you bring your arms up overhead. Exhale, rippling down one vertebra at a time, taking a flowing bridge. So we'll take five of these, five breaths. Inhale. See if you can match the length of your inhale with your hands coming to the floor. And same thing, see if you can draw out the movement as long as the breath. Inhale, pressing into the ground through the heels of the feet. Slow exhales. Really let your tailbone be the last thing to touch the ground and the first thing to roll back up. Squeezing your glutes at the top. Here comes four. We'll do one more just for good measure. Exhale down. Beautiful, extend that left leg out, hug the right knee into the chest. Take it in a couple circles. Beautiful, reaching your foot for the outer edge of that right foot. So left hand to the outer edge of the right foot. And taking it across the body, just like you would in a twist, but we're gonna try and extend the leg here. So. Holding onto that leg, maybe you'd want to take the hand under that right arch. Coming into a cattail here. If you want to take it a step deeper, you can bend that left leg and take the right hand towards that left foot. So we're coming into a true yoga pretzel here. Relaxing the shoulders to the floor and breathe here. See where your breath is moving in this pose. What feels good, what feels tight. Hopefully, this is giving a stretch through your kind of that outer back side of that right leg. But wherever you're feeling it is fine. Everyone's body is different. Again, if you are hypermobile, really try to have some sort of activation around your knee. Maybe squeezing quads, drawing up on that knee, having a little micro bend, something that is protecting that joint. One last breath here. Exhale, release that left foot if you've got it, keeping that leg of the Right leg extended as you roll onto your back, coming into a little split stretch here, holding on to either your calf or your ankle or your foot. And then actually let's bring one leg either to your ankle or your foot and then one to the back of the calf. You're gonna squeeze, so we're gonna activate that whole leg, trying to press it away and your hands are trying to draw it back down. So, so enough stretching here. So press, press, press like your leg is trying to escape from your hand. Squeeze every muscle. Inhale. Exhale, release that right leg completely. Let it mount towards your face. 
One more time, squeeze, press, 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 activate, point your toes, act into that whole leg. Exhale, release, let it soften, let that knee bend if it feels good. One last breath here. Exhale, release it down. Switching sides. I'm gonna flip around so I don't run into the wall. Take that right, left knee into your chest. Give it a couple circles here. And then reaching for that left foot with the right hand. I'm gonna extend it out and take it over to the side. Taking that twist here. And then decide if you want to bend that bottom knee or not. It's your choice if you want that left foot flexed or pointed. Definitely flexed, I think it's going to make the stretch more intense. So, a lot of different variations you can take in this pose. But wherever you are, try to settle into a bit of stillness, bringing the mind to this very present moment. <sighs> present with the breath, aware of the body. Beautiful, sacred vessel. <sighs> Sending your breath to any places of tightness. Be aware of your left knee. Release that bottom foot, keeping the leg extended, just rolling back to the center, hugging that leg towards your body. It might feel good to take a hand and again kind of massage the back of that hamstring. All right, ready to activate that leg. So squeeze like you're trying to escape from your arms, escaping from the ground. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale. Exhale, relax completely. Drawing that leg in towards yourself. And again, squeeze to activate. Oh, squeeze every muscle, point your toe, squeeze your glutes. Inhale, exhale, release. Let that leg drop towards you and take a couple breaths here. Taking one last breath here. And releasing that left leg down to meet the right. Reach the arms up overhead. Stretch as long as you can. A little arch in the back. Exhale, drop the spine to the floor. Pull the core in to draw the knees into the chest. Give yourself a little hug. Rock side to side. Extending the legs up towards the ceiling. Every little last fascia shake release thing. So, you want to imagine like you're just, your legs are rotating in their sockets, but really fast, and your muscles, the legs are relaxed. These were the wrong pants to wear for this. <laughs> but just letting them shake, just really let it jiggle. It should feel good. And just shaking, fascia likes to be kind of shaped and bounce. It helps it release, helps it release its tight grip. It feels good for the muscles as well. Just shake out your legs now in any way. Ooh. <laughs> and then I'll take our little stretch. I'm gonna fix this way. Just letting your legs drop open to the side, coming into a reclined middle splits here. So just letting gravity do the work here for you. You can place some hands on your inner thighs if you'd like. Or on your calves. Really do anything that feels good here for you. Taking your middle splits here. We'll be here for about five breaths. So maybe you want to hold on to your toes and pull them down. You can flex your feet, point your feet. Really do whatever is going to serve you. If this isn't feeling good, you can always just do legs up the wall. Or you could take happy baby too if you want something a little different. Slowing down the breath. Relax 
relaxing through the back of the neck, the jaw. Letting your belly inhale and rise. Exhale and deflate. And using your hands to help your legs come back up and give them a little, little shake. Dropping them down into your chest. Take those knees and a couple circles here. And when you're ready, drop your legs down. Moving into our Shavasana. So, quick little practice. Hopefully your legs are feeling nice and stretched out. Go ahead and get comfy. And then let your hips rock side to side just a couple times, like your feet kind of windshield wiper back and forth. And then let them just gently relax into stillness. Snuggling your shoulders, your shoulder blades under your back. Bring both hands to your belly. And as you inhale, feeling your lower ribs expand, your belly expand. Closing the eyes, really allowing all of the muscles in your legs to relax. The quads and the glutes and the hamstrings and all your toes. Bringing your awareness to your entire lower bodies from the hips down. And just imagining so much vitality and health and healing and mobility, flexibility and strength in those legs, sending that intention to your lower body. Let it fill every muscle fiber, every cell, every bone, every bit of fascia in your legs, filling it up with love and vitality. are powerful, our thoughts are healing, so you can truly really use your thoughts and your energy to help your legs be less sore. Just send lots of healing energy for those muscles to recover faster, to release tightness and tension. to relax your ankles, the sole of your foot, calves, your shins, your knees, all sides of your leg. Feel how strong, how powerful your legs are. Not only do they carry you everywhere, but they help you dance, help you go where you want to go. Just a few more breaths here, staying present in the body, present here on your mat. This time is for you. Beautiful. Keeping your eyes closed, wiggle your fingers and toes, stretch the arms up overhead, finding the length in your body. Exhale, drawing the knees into the chest. Give yourself a squeeze. Really send that love to your legs. Really just hold them in your loving awareness before rolling to one side to gently press your up you press yourself up <laughs> to a seated position taking your knees side to side a little windshield wiper here and then 
then taking a seated position, and we'll end the practice here. Inhaling the arms up as you ground down through the pelvis. Drawing in all of that energy of strength, of vitality, healing, recovery, longevity, health. Drawing it down into your heart. Drop your forehead to your fingertips, bowing to your body, bowing to the wisdom of your spirit. Bowing to yourself for taking this time to practice today. Thank you so much for joining me. Namaste. I hope you all feel amazing. If you're still feeling sore, just try some foam rolling or something. Maybe get a massage. But we will see you here next week for some more Yoga for Dancers. Please like, subscribe, find me on Instagram. Let's connect. And I can't wait to see you guys soon. Much love, y'all.